All right, hey everyone, Glimpse here. Um, big news, let me show you really quickly. Finally got C6 Edo. Now, very quick disclaimer at the start of the video, to any of you guys watching, um, C6 characters are not worth it, do not pull for them. I've gotten incredibly lucky on the past like three or four banners, however many he's had. I've pulled on all of them to get C6 or one of this. And yeah, I'm just saying, you probably won't get this lucky, don't waste all your primos on this, get new characters. Okay, quick disclaimer out of the way. And also, really quickly, I want to see if I can get a C6 Farazon really quickly. I just got some. I just logged in for the first time today, and want to see if I can get C6 Farazon or not C6 Farazon. Um, C4 Farazon, because I'm at C3. I'm just doing whatever pulls I have left here. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'll probably pull till I get one more four star, then start saving for I'll hide them. But just wanted to make a quick video talking about if I feel like it's worth it. Pretty cool. So yeah, let's, oh yeah, let me show you my Edo really quickly. Okay, so first things first, I've, I'd say my Edo's pretty well invested. Uh, 2200 defense, and then, um, look at his stats in a second. So Redhorn, he's on 4 piece husk. C6, um, 10, 11, 13. So this right here is like 10, 8, 10, which is what most of my DPS characters get them to, but 10, 11, 13, so pretty cool. Um... Let's take a look at my artifacts really quickly. So, starting off, this piece, pretty solid. Like, 40-something crit value. Um, what's that? 10, 20, that, like, 30-something crit value. Here's a defense sands. This one definitely could be improved, but can't complain too much. Energy recharge crit damage. But I always get pretty bad sands. Um, this piece, I got very lucky right here with the crit rate. Once again, crit damage could have gone a little bit better. That 300 <laughs> HP is kind of killing it, but it's whatever. And then this one right here took a long time to get, but I eventually did get it with a crit damage, crit rate, circle it. So everything works out. So I got the crit damage, circle, and everything. Most of these pieces have really good crit rate, which is why I'm able to run crit damage weapon and um, crit damage circle. Here's my build right here, 70, 250 around there. Pretty solid. Energy recharge is only 110, but it's normally not too big of a problem whenever I'm actually clearing things. I would recommend building it with higher ER, but it doesn't always work out that way. So mostly I just rely on like Goro and... Zhongli for everything with that. Overall, this character is probably one that I've played at least in the top three for DPS. I think it's mostly between Child, Ito, and Ayato, I would say. But yeah, so just going to do a quick demonstration of this character. Wanted to hop on and show his damage potential really quickly. Um, I've been farming a bit more for my Scaramouche artifacts. Those might be better off soon. But, okay. Oh, okay. We're going to first just show it on this boss real quick just so you can see the damage. Because I don't really think there's anything too off about this. There's not really like iframes or anything. I'll probably demonstrate it on him in Masanori. But I wanted to talk, show you guys the constellations real quick in case you guys forget any of them. I'm going to dumb it down real quick. Make it simple. Um, okay. C1, pretty solid, basically just means when you enter his burst state, you can start swinging. Because, okay, so these stacks are super relative super strength. We're just going to say stacks. Um, with these stacks, he can do a special charged attack where he basically just gets to swing upwards and everything instead of doing the spin one. Okay, so this just means basically when you go into burst, you get these stacks that you can charge attack on, which is the majority of his damage. Okay, um, C2, basically as long as you're running triple geo, you get 4.5 cooldown reduction on his E, 18 energy. So basically his burst goes from 80 to around 60. Okay, C3 is just his E. His E is pretty big damage. Um, okay, C4, let's see. C4 wasn't too great, to be honest. I kind of just got lucky pulling it, and I was just like, ah, I didn't really want to stop because <laughs> pulling problems, <laughs> but it's whatever. Um, C4 wasn't too crazy. Just at the end of it, all party members, 20% defense, 20% attack. I mean, when you go back around with the rotation, if you do everything properly, you'll have that 20% defense and attack for a little bit. But it's not that big a deal. Just, it's whatever. C5, his burst increased by three levels. And C6. This is, like, I'm pretty sure this is in one of the top few. At least in the top five, I'd say. Maybe top three? I'm not sure. In the very high of the best, very highly rated and the best C6 characters that you can get. And this is one of my favorite characters that... Like, I was basically obsessed with the second that I saw his trip marketing. I thought, this character looks sick. I'm going to pull for him. So, let's discuss it real quick. These charge attack, the special ones with, like, his um, special stacks, 
these char well, all of his charge attacks get 70% crit damage on top of it. And when he uses um, his burst thing... Okay, so every like slash from his burst, there's a 50% chance to not consume a stack. Because normally you can only have 5 stacks at one time, and whenever you swing, the stack is gone. But each stack here has a 50% chance to not end. I don't know the current number. I know when it first came out that the highest number is like 40-something hits in a row. And I mean, you're definitely not going to get that every time. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Um, so yeah, let's see here. So... He's got the 256 crit damage here, and then, oh wait, constellations. He also gets 70% crit damage on charge attacks from this, from the C6. And then Goro, C6, gives an extra 40% crit damage as long as you are, uh, oh wait, that's not crit damage, I think that's, oh, increases crit damage of all party members. Geo damage, okay, so yeah, he increases the crit damage of Geo hits, so Ido slashes again by another 40. So the 70 plus the 40 plus the 256 is his crit damage at C6. So, you'll be able to see pretty good numbers here. Um, I don't know boss. How, I don't know how long this boss is gonna live, to be honest. We're just gonna give it a shot. I don't. I haven't really tested on this boss, but I remember fighting it pretty easily when I was helping a friend with Ido. Oh shoot, he doesn't have his burst. <laughs> that was dumb of me. I was just farming artifacts with a friend uh, yesterday. Okay, we're gonna get his burst back really quickly. That was my bad. I should have checked that before. But it's whatever. He kills everything pretty quickly. Now I'm going to try not to really hit too much or anything. Not trying to give up his damage right away. You can see his... That should be enough. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll go back to Sumeru. So, okay. Now you guys get to see C6 Edo. Um, I think this is actually kind of insane. Because I've... I never really thought I'd actually get a C6 5-star character unless it was a standard. And just after a long time. But I've gotten incredibly lucky overall with my summon, so I can't complain too much. Okay. So about like 57k there per slash. And you just see that like the slashes just keep going. That was pretty insane there. And I mean, normally when you're fighting more energy enemies, you would throw this E again, but I j and then his burst would be back if I were to throw that E again. But I kind of just wanted to show you that his slashes would keep going. So, actually pretty insane. And you kept seeing that, um, you see these stacks on the back, there's like the one dot right there on the back. That means like one stack, so that's this charge attack. And then he like, if he has none, no charge attacks, this is, that's it if he doesn't have any of the stacks. Okay, so... Pretty much makes sense. We're gonna go show you Masanori real quickly. Let me just get his burst back really quick. But in longer boss fights, or if you do take the second to do his E, then it's fine. If you're playing anything before C6 Edo, his charge attacks aren't. Um, well, they're still like a huge deal, but you just focus more on his. Okay, let me let me get away from this and show you guys real quick. Okay, and I don't really I don't believe Shinobu is like the best pick to have his his last character, but I like playing her. I think it's pretty convenient to have like a support there, especially when you're going against something with Corrosion. Um, and I know that she's part of the Arataki gang, and I just... It's kind of dumb. I just thought it was cool that they go together, and I think it's nice to just have like a healer that's kind of on back order. So, if Zhongli's shield ever does run out, it doesn't happen often, but if it ever does, I can heal her there. Other good teammates, if you want to use them, would be characters like Bennett or maybe Raiden Shogun in the back, but there you can see some of the charge... There you go. Okay, but real quick, if you're not playing C6 Edo, just a quick tip that I want to tell you guys is like you do all your setup and everything. Go ahead, get ready. And then you saw me in the okay. So first, before you press this Q, make sure to get these paw prints above his head at the top there. When all three, when that lights up, you're ready to start your burst. But just a quick thing: remember to press your burst and then your E, because most people do. I saw I've seen some people do E in their burst and just wanted to do a quick thing like that. But after C6, uh, it's more damage if you do the E before the burst, so then you spend all your time doing the charge attacks. Okay, now let's go do a quick demonstration on Masanori real quick. Um, where is he? I'm gonna be real with you, I don't fight this boss that often. Er, he's not really a boss, is he? Um, I don't know what that pin's for. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. So, we'll give it a shot. This should be fine. I don't really think there's anything too crazy about this. Okay, so I know the midnight one's different. I don't really know what's different about it, though. So I'm just going to switch it to daytime really quickly. 
I don't know what's different about his day, uh, night and daytime. I just know people say like midnight, mas Masanori midday. I'll look into it, but just want to do a quick demonstration. Let me know in the comments, actually, if you know, and I haven't looked it up yet. I got an achievement, apparently, fighting that chicken thing. Um, oh, okay. Cool. All right. So you guys can kind of see some damage here. And once again, ideally, he would have more energy recharge, but I almost never have a problem. And if I do, he gets his burst back pretty quickly in the fight. So it's not that big a deal. Okay. Okay, so I'm not... Let's see, this shouldn't be too bad. I've only I've only fought him a couple times. And there you go, 60 Ks on him. Okay, yeah, there you go. So, you can see he's pretty insane. I right, once again, I didn't throw the bullet again. Normally, you can just throw this off cooldown whenever you want. But he was basically getting 60k per charge attack on this boss. I think that boss might, uh, the Jade Plume Terror Shoe might have a slight increase of Geo Res. Not too sure about that, so don't quote me, but just wanted to mention that really quickly. Um, okay, so yeah, if we were in like an actual fight, you can just see like the burst is, let's just say the burst is over. Now I'm going to come over here and just show you how quickly it would take to get his burst back from where it was from me just swinging. You literally just do the rotation again like this, and then let's see how close it is. And then it's basically right there. And then you can just do a couple swings, get the stacks, and then he's ready to go. And then you can just do all the normal swings. There it is, like, without the burst or anything. And with that guy having a shield. You just see it keeps going. It's pretty insane. Real quick, actually, I want to check something that I haven't tried yet. Well, here, I will give that out. We'll let him hit that thing for a couple times. Oh, he didn't hit it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see how many stacks we have. Okay. So, reshield. Is he going to hit it? Okay. So, I have like three stacks. Let's see how many hits we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, I guess the 50% thing doesn't just apply to his burst state. So, I guess all of his charge attacks can do that. Let me double check that really quickly. I was just testing it out. The test showed that it should because you can have a max of five stacks at a time. <laughs> okay, so his constellation right here. Um, when you use Arataki Kisagiri, 50% chance to not consume. Okay, and then his the Arataki Kisagiri should be, let's see, charged attack. Is that okay? Okay, I guess this right here. I could be butchering that name completely, but I'm okay. Arataki Kisagiri says that. It's the slash is just in normal here. That's not just in the burst. So even if you're just using him for like physical damage outside, which I mean, I don't recommend. But if you just don't want to waste your burst on like a small enemy or anything, you know that you have 50% chance each hit to not consume the stamina. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to come on here and do a really quick talking video. I'm actually really excited to get this character at C6. He's definitely one of my favorite characters. And I think he's one of the few characters that has a really cool C6. Like, once again, Child's still my main, but I wouldn't, I don't think he's worth the C6. I mean, who knows? Maybe in the future if I just get like insanely lucky. I don't think any character is really worth the C6 unless you're like a Giga Whale. But real quick, one more time, don't spend unless you actually really like, really love this character and you're willing to spend money and you can afford it and all these things. But yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. Consider subscribing if you did enjoy and thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.